Hi YouTube, Badass Edward Tyndall here, and almost Badass Sarah Tyndall, <laughs> and definitely Badass Rattlesnake Tyndall. I couldn't think of any better way than to celebrate the 4th of July than to have a rattlesnake breeding project so we can bring more of these beautiful creatures into the world. And it's so awesome that I live in America! Oh. America! I'm going to shed my grace on thee! <laughs> so, people, friends, fans, loved ones, unloved ones, haters and likers alike, y'all are fixing to witness some really cool shit. One of two things are gonna happen in, in these snakes are gonna brutally murder each other, but very highly unlikely. Or they're gonna get jiggy with it, and we're gonna have a bunch of baby rattles, baby rattles like little bitty ones. Um, woo! And that one's hot. This one over here is entada. So we got hot entada. This one's hot, and that one's entada. For those of you who don't know what hot entada is, it is a very venomous. Scorpion. These are cane break rattlesnakes. Two different colored morphs. This one possibly hit albino and possibly hit scaleless. We'll never know though until we breed it back to its kids. So without further ado. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And hootie hoo! <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Not meaning to be crazy. I just get so overly excited about this cute stuff. Because it is so cute. I'll try to put that right there. I am going to grab the other snake out of the cage. And I'll take over. Actually, I will let Sarah try to film for me while I get this snake, put it in this cage, without hopefully any trauma, drama, and baby mama going on because I don't want nobody getting hurt. As in the snakes. Hopefully, they'll be nice to one another. There will be no trouble. It's what I like to happen most of the time. And if you see me handling a uh, venomous reptile in a certain way or doing something a certain way, and you decide you want to do that, I'm not responsible for anyone else's stupidity. When I handle these animals, I put no one at risk with myself. Are you getting that? Did you get that big yawn? That was a big yawn. Now this will be the first time of these two ever being introduced to each other. And this one's going to be pissed because I'm taking his hide out and he thinks he's going to be fed, but it's already fed. He or she, I'm not sure, but they're showing interactive activity like they are male and female. So that's exactly what we're going to see here today. And if you can see the pinkness of this one, don't miss nothing. This one's fast and flighty. Fast and flighty, my friends, and hopefully we'll get a clean breeding. I never really take this one out or handle it because I just don't. Whoa. Do you want to grab that other hook? Well, um, I want to get her, him or her, in there with him or her. just hasn't never been handled at all so this is a first once he realizes what I'm going to do hopefully he will calm down he or she and knows it's being touched he does not like that at all hopefully it won't be fighting and biting which is possible it's really joy you got to read the body language of the snake people you see how the snake is ha ha acting let's see I can double it up this is such a big hook it's hard to maneuver stuff when you have such a big, big thing like I got. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get get it this way backwards on the soft rubber because I don't want to cause it no more stress than it needs. Let it grab onto this thing. Yes, like so. We'll move it over here. Get, get, make sure you're getting on this baby. 
I'm one of those other saying they're struck. It hurt this thing. Hold on. It's going down in there. Not going out there, no. Not doing it. Not doing it. I'm like, oh, but I'm here. I'm like, not the camera. Alright, get that camera over here. We got two rattles going on now. Hopefully they will respect one another and show each other the love that every man and woman should. And do not fight because we don't like spouse abusers. Not in here, no sorry, Bob. That is thing, one thing that don't does not need to happen. So as I was saying earlier, one of two things can happen. They're not really going to kill each other because snake, rattlesnakes do respect one another. The only time that ever would happen is if human interference would to scare them to and they wouldn't know uh, they would strike out out of fear and accidentally strike the other one while you were putting it in the enclosure which we're done with that and these two are going to realize something's going on I should have removed the water bowl but I did not and I wanted to share this magic moment with you guys because it's amazing now if in these two are females nothing's gonna happen I have not six of them I'm just guessing maybe it's a male and a female some can say that's bum some can say it's not I don't care I do things the way I do until I have success. Trial and error. One cool thing could happen though, if these two are males, and they are ready to breed, they might decide that they want to fight each other. And rattlesnakes do this arm wrestling type thing. I've seen it happen a lot in the wild with uh, Eastern Diamondbacks. Big ones, all the way up to six foot. They will uh, stand up and wrestle the other one to the ground out of respect not to bite one another because their venom will kill each other and they know it and it's one of the most awesome unique things to experience because whichever one wins and the rules of their game is just like arm wrestling when you pin the other one down whichever one is to win the other one will just crawl off and the, do the long slither of shame and allow the victor to go get the girl. There's not very much footage on that type of stuff that I can find, but uh, I really love rattlesnakes and I have two very unique specimens here that are just absolutely amazing. and. I want to be able to share it with you guys. We've raised these both from babies. Oh, let me see. The big one is Rattler, is its name. And uh, the small one is Rooster, aka Halloween. So we got him on Halloween. And we got him from a man that goes by the alias of Rooster. I might have seen him in some of my older videos but this is awesome because we got this yellow color face with all kinds of amazing unique toning that not all rattlesnakes have I mean I used to would say anybody can go out and catch any rattlesnake but to be able to find a unique specimen and then find another unique specimen and put the two together and make some extremely unique babies would be unique but I'm not seeing what I want to see I'm wanting to see some breeding and if if they do I need to see what the other one's doing over here see the other one's just interested in getting out right now because it's not in its enclosure it's not very happy but it growed extremely fast it grew extremely fast we can get a breeding on these though I will definitely try and catch the live birth for you guys and gals boys and girls alike because it's an awesome experience that everyone should see yes they do give live birth they do not lay eggs which is very amazing have a bunch of little baby rattlesnakes with one little button on their tail one mean angry mama. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to let people see. 
Um, while we're letting that happen, I also wanted to show you some other things. I watched uh, Tom Morin on uh, Tom's Big Spiders. He started a new deli, NC Gold Communal setup. Man, another one we we have a tin. Neo Hoteli NC Gold Communal here. I'll set that up for you guys where you can see while we're waiting on the rattlesnakes to do anything. And this is the basic setup that I have here for them, this species. And they're doing absolutely fine. These are sack mates. It does not matter with this species whether it's sack mates or not. I started out with 10. I still have 10. As y'all can see, there's baby rusty reds running around in there freely. So it gives them something that they can eat if they want to. They're all fat. As long as there's a food source in here with a Neo Hotel ANC Gold, in my own experience, and I guarantee 100%, no matter what video you watch or what hearsay that you have, if you raise this species of spider, Neo Hotel ANC Gold, the NNC Gold, or the NNC Olive, both of those NC will in fact live together they will eat together they will appear to love on each other they will set up shop together they'll build elaborate tunnels and webbing together now in this case I had a five pack and a five pack and the two I decided to combine in here all one at a time together and when I did they decided to separate into two colonies so I have I still have to see whether this is going to be a rival colony or if these two webs are eventually going to connect and they will all be one with each other <clears throat> but if you set these up like I got substrate a water dish roaches and then if you have <clears throat> a lot of them and loose roaches put a potato in there sliced in half until it starts to go bad and then remove your potato the reason for that is the spiders will or the roaches will eat on the potato instead of eating on your molting tarantulas. Here's another five pack. This is Sarah's Neo Hotel NC Gold. That one appears to have just molted. Yes, it's getting big. And they're all actually molting. Sarah feeds the living L out of hers. And you can see multiple molts in there. And they're doing, actually one's molting right now. It's upside down molting. I feed all of them. Right there. I know it. She's actually uh, right there. The rattlesnakes are still just doing their thing. Um, but they, those are molting. That's amazing. I love it. Um, this one here, I see molts, people. All of them are fixing to be molting. Um, you can see them upside down. These are in NC Gold. There's five in here. You can see how they've webbed this up. I highly recommend this species as a communal species. Here you see, they live together, they eat together, they sleep together, they molt together, they web together. 100% in harmony with each other. Started with five, there's still five. Five, five, five. Now, if they don't have the proper food that they need, they will, well, I don't know that they will because I've never had it, but I imagine that they will eventually eat each other. These seem to be doing absolutely wonderful. Thank you, my lovely one. Set them easily because they're molting and they're getting some size on them. Uh, and then we have these that are fixing to go in. They're all in pre-molt. And the rattlesnakes are not eating each other. And they're not uh they're not fighting. They might might be the same sex. I don't know. But they're acting like they want to be bred. I don't have tubing and stuff right now to be able to sex them. I don't really want to pop a rattlesnake because I don't want to break the uh rattle um, and I don't really like probing to be honest with you um, what else was I going to say where is the other Neo Hotelis is, is the timer going or not where's yeah. the Neo Hotelis yeah. oh Sarah's A purpure has shed and we sexed it it is a male Aviculara purpure let me show that for a second can you hold that earlier? So y'all can see what he looks like. There he is. The purple pink toe, people. I don't know how good you can see through that web, and I don't want to disturb him too much. But he is a boy. In fact, we are looking for a girl. 
right now, not tomorrow, but right now, um, this snake is not going to breed. I am going to transfer it back into its enclosure because it's just upset and rattling. But I wanted to show you guys and see what you think. How much time we got? What do you got there? What are these? Have they molted? This is the Vicularia variegata. Absolutely B E A beautiful species. Here, hold this lid. So I can show the actual tarantula. There's a variegata. Here is a Vicularia variegata and rattlesnakes in the background in the same frame. Isn't that cool? Only on Edward Tindall YouTube, people. This is the first time that a Avicularia variegata and a rattlesnake, two rattlesnakes, have ever been on film together. The first time with Edward Tindall, too. Checked it out. So much coolness happening here. Sarah loves her variegatas. How's your other variegata? Whoa, dude. <laughs> Oh, they are growing, say, my friends, my fans. I have to say thank you, Palp Friction. Yes, that is P A L P Friction Tarantulas. Check them name. out. I highly recommend them to anyone. They go above and beyond the call of duty, and their customers really mean a lot to them. So much, in fact, that they. Do not forget their customers. If you buy from Help Friction Tarantulas, they remember who you are. And they do a lot of business with a lot of people. They just, they're really good people. These also came from Help Friction and they're growing and that's why I showed them to you. This is Avicularia, Avicularia, the Nicaraguan, part of the Nicaraguan import. Pure uh, blood captive born and bred. Um, I want to wish you all a happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day, peace and love. Sorry you didn't get to see a rattlesnake breeding, but guess what? Guess what? How many of you guys would have got to see this awesome rattlesnake stuff on Independence Day with Edward Tyndall and Sarah Tyndall if it wasn't for this video? Show some love, people. Or some like. Hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate every like I can get. Because... Soon, in your lifetime, there will be no rattlesnakes in the wild. No tarantulas in the wild. In your lifetime. People watching this right now. Not because of over-collection for the pet trade, no. But because of deforestation. People scared of rattlesnakes. People scared, fear, and killing this wonderful creature. And before long, it's just going to be up to people like me that have private collections. And maybe when everybody realizes everything is gone, breeding projects can take place and uh, we can make a recovered ecosystem. And I'm not telling everybody to go out and get a rattlesnake because there's plenty of people that already have them in captivity of all species. Well, almost all species. I have discovered a couple of species of rattlesnakes that are not on record in extreme rural locations that I cannot disclose their location with you guys because it's just not something that I'm willing to put out there and then let them go be destroyed. That's not that's not who I am. And I love awesome things. I love sharing awesome things with you guys. But it just seems like everything I love is getting destroyed slowly but surely. So. Let's try to keep America awesome, people. Let that be your 4th of July res resolution. Live and let live. To every venom and every venomous animal, it holds a cure to something. Someone. It might save one of your loved ones one time. That needs to be researched more. And I'm going to stop preaching to y'all there. But we're out, I guess. Stay tuned, people. we got a lot of big plans. Did I say peace and love? Did you say peace and love? Peace and love, America, and to our fans and family, we hope you enjoy your day, and please do not drink and drive. Thumbs up, and stay tuned.